This video shows you how to work with result lists. Often there is a need to iterate result lists to verify, search, and detect incorrect data. With XenoGuard, this works with a few drag-and-drop operations. There are various actions in XenoGuard that provide their results in the form of lists and tables. These include, for example, directory get files, directory get folders, Excel get data, and others more. The directory get files action, which lists files in a folder, provides the results in the form of a table. When you expand the result list, you can already see the structure of a record. For example, the action returns the path name of the file, the file size, and the file creation time. Additionally, the number of files is returned. This allows you to check whether results are available. Actions that return result lists have a root node. Below this, all result rows or data records are filled in. In our example, these are the single files, which are numbered starting at index 0. The upper node fulfills a certain task. We will come to this later. So that we have descriptive data, we fill the action with a valid directory. In our example, we determine all executable programs in the Windows Programs directory and list them. We use the filter to limit the file type. As soon as we start the action, all files are determined and displayed in the form of a table. We can see the number of files in separate result pages, between which we can scroll back and forth. XenoGuard displays 100 lines per page. The last button lets you copy the whole result list to the clipboard to edit it in a text editor afterwards. Iteration with for each. The for each action is perfect for processing an unknown set of result rows. You do not need to know the number of result rows beforehand. Add the action to the desired position in the script. The action expects a link to a result list in the first parameter. Drag the list root node onto the cell with the mouse. You can see that XenoGuard takes the structure of the result data and displays it in the result list of for each. These are the same parameters as in the source action directory get files. With each loop cycle, for each takes over a single result row and transfers it to its own result list. You can then check a single value and process the data further. In the inner node of for each, insert all the actions to be performed on each loop run. In our example, we use write text to output the file path and size. For the text output we use two placeholders. First, we want the file path to appear. We set a reference to the file from the result list. Press Shift key to set the parameter reference. We do the same with the file size. Again, press the Shift key. Now we start the script. For each iterates the result list and shows all results. Iterate an Excel spreadsheet with for each. There are actions that determine the structure of the data to be read only during the execution. This includes, for example, the action Excel get data. The action reads the data of an Excel spreadsheet. Since the table structure is unknown, an empty result is displayed in the result list after the insertion. To find out the structure of the data, we need to run the action once. We select the Excel file on the table to be read, right-click the action, and select Start Selection. The data is displayed in the result list. Also the column names at the beginning are recognized automatically. The action remembers the data even if you save the script. As in the last example, we can use for each to iterate and evaluate the individual table rows. We will again use the write text action for demonstration purposes. And we start the script. Accessing individual list elements. In some use cases, you may not want to iterate an entire list, but rather access individual list elements. This is easy to do with XenoGuard. First, specify the element. Drag the desired parameter to the target action while holding down the Shift key. In our example we choose the first name. 
As you can see, the reference contains the index too. If you want to select a different index, select the cell and press enter. All possible parameter combinations are displayed on the right side of the window. Xenoguard automatically recognizes all parameters in a result list and also inserts the abbreviation index to indicate that this result is indexed. In the lower area, you can specify the index you want to read out as a fixed value, for example 11. If you double-click the desired parameter or press enter, the selection is accepted. If we start the script now, write text reads out the name in line 11. In the next tutorial you will learn how to sort and filter results. Thank you for your interest. I hope the video helped you. If you have any questions about the product, feel free to contact us. We'll be very glad to help you.